What is up, everyone of the interwebs? This is Will, also known as Wackadoo, and welcome to a look at one of the vengeance maps called Cove. Now, Cove is, I'd say it's a small map. It's a little bit more open than the typical small maps offer, but this map is um, based on an island, and as you can see in the distance there, there is the hijacked boat. This is a nice little Easter egg that they threw in, and uh, now we're going to switch to some actual gameplay. But with this, um, I find that the map is quite small. I mean, um, it doesn't take you long to get speed on, but the, the, the amount of playable area is quite big. The engagements aren't long range, um, and the map is quite small, but there are so many places to go. It's quite open. It's quite weird how, how the map plays in one respect, and um, you don't really uh, get it straight away. You might have to play a couple of games to get used to the map. Um, but I've got to say, out of all the DLC maps for uh, Vengeance, this is the nicest looking one. This map just looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, they did a good job with the uh, graphical side and the visual side with this map. Um, and I think it's pretty cool that you can actually run in the water as well, um, which makes a little bit of a bonus. But the map in general just looks absolutely just amazing. It really does. And they've done a good job on that front. Um, the map itself is um, not a normal one for Call of Duty, Call of Duty and it's actual circular. Um, typically it seems to be sort of like a rectangle or a square kind of like map where you'll have, you know, like a couple of, we'll have obviously four corners or maybe a, maybe one or two more um, and it's sort of like uh, a rectangle kind of shape but this one's like more circular and there's not really any corners to this map, it's just one complete circle and it offers new gameplay which is what I think um, some people are going to be struggling with um, which is why some people might not like the map but also um, it just changes the way you play it's not about just watching um, maybe one or two directions you've got to keep your eye on a number of things um, there's a number of flank routes there's a number of ways you can go to, ch to uh, get around this map and that's what I like about this map it offers different kind of gameplay um, so the map itself, I think, is good. Um, I, I, I think they could have made it a bit bigger for um, a couple of reasons, but I'll get into that in a minute. Um, this map, by far, is more suited to players with assault rifles. Your SMGs are not going to do bad, but they're not going to do brilliant. The, as you can see, the kind of like sight lines that you get on this map are sort of medium range. They're not long range. Uh, they're more medium range. So assault rifles are going to dominate in this uh, map. Um, like Rush is sort of like the uh, close quarter one. This is the medium one, and this is where the assault rifles just excel. I mean, there's obviously um, some machine gun potential. It's not all assault rifle. Um, but the assault rifles are going to dominate, so using an assault rifle is uh, the best way to go. Um, and also, another thing about this map is use the flanks. If you're using something like a suppressor, use the flanks more, because you're going to get more kills, you're going to surprise the enemy, you're going to get behind the enemy, and that's what's going to get you kills. And I'd also say, avoid the middle. Um, obviously, you have to go in the middle if, you want in, if you're playing the objective on, like, Domination, for example as BDOM is there, but if you haven't got to go in the middle, then don't go in the middle. You don't want to be in the middle. You want to stick on the edges like I am here in this gameplay. You don't want to touch that middle area. As you can see from here, um, when I put that sentry lid down, you only got a, a small little glimpse. It's not the place you want to be. There's too many sight lines into that middle area. Um, so you don't want to run in there. Stick to the flanks, stick to the outside, and you will be fine. My issue with this map and this is the one thing that is an issue, and I think it's be it's because they should have made this map a little bit bigger. Is the spawn system again? And same on Rush. Um, they make it. They've made this spawn system um, on this map, and because the map's too small for what they wanted, you can see people spawn. I mean, I'm like aiming down sights down one of these sight lines. Um, not in this gameplay, in another one. Um, and I could actually see people spawning off in the distance and to me that shows that the map hasn't been thought of uh, from a spawn per uh, uh, perspective I mean it's great coming up with a map but the spawns need to be um, correct when you create a map and I find that when we get a map like this that the 
the design of it, the way they wanted it, is a good idea. But it's always the spawn system that lets it down, and this is a pure example. The spawn system needs to be looked at first. So the spawn system is the downside to this map, unfortunately. I hate having to actually point out about the spawn system, but I'm not lying to you guys, it can be a very difficult thing when you're, for example, on a kill streak, and then suddenly the whole team spawns behind you without you realising. But overall, this map, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been some Cove gameplay. Stand by for a little bit later on when I'm going to release some Detour gameplay. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.